Overturns on busy I-4. Nine people are hurt. New at four, we are hearing from the people on board the bus. News 6 was first on scene right after the bus flip just before noon. This is News 6 at 4. I'm Julie Broughton. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Lisa Bell. News 6's Nadine Yanas joins us live near where it happened, I-4 at Orange Blossom Trail. And Nadine, this all happened when you were riding with a deputy. Lisa, he was the first deputy to respond to the scene. We were working on another story and he said there was some unusual traffic getting around the traffic to check it out. And that's when we saw passengers walking out of where the windshield once was on that bus. Roof. You can stand. Everybody's fine. Orange County Master Deputy Greg Ritker, the first on scene, went first to the bus driver. He was real concerned about the other passengers and getting them out first. Um, and most, some of the passengers had already escaped through the back hatch and through the roof emergency exit hatch. Many of them clearly shaken afterwards on the phone, telling loved ones and the Good Samaritans who helped pull them out what happened. He and I were in the very back and I slid against, you know, when the bus turned. And I was listening to my radio and then suddenly, boom. You all right, sir? Yeah. Oh, no, we've seen better days. This, while passenger Emilio James, on his way to work at the Orange County Convention Center, told the story to us. I said the bus was just swinging and swinging and, huh? A car, a car, a car was coming um, side of him there, and I thought he was going to hit that car when, you know, when he shifting and the, the bus was just going and turning. Give me one second, sir. That's right around the time Deputy Ritker got the bus driver out. There's a turn, a wiggle turn. The bus tipped to the side and started sliding. I tried to straighten it out. You're okay. It's all going to be okay. Yeah, if you look inside and, and saw where the passengers were and laying and all, I mean, there, there are, none of them were seat belted in, so they were bouncing around in there. It, it could have been a lot worse. And if you take a look, I-4 westbound is now open again after about two hours. Now, we spoke to not only a good Samaritan, but someone who witnessed the crash. We're going to hear what he says he saw in my story tonight at 5 o'clock. Ladies, back to you. What an intense situation. Nadine Giannis reporting live for us. Thank you.